Okay, here's a quick uh, tutorial how to do subtitles easy. So you have your footage, your audio, and your video. What you want to do is nest these these uh, tracks together, and then you want to duplicate the caption track. So you hold down Alt and Shift, and you drag this on top, drag this up to a different uh, video track. And then you open said uh, nested sequence. You copy the footage back into the main comp and delete the unnecessary uh, nested sequence. You go back into the nested sequence and then, then you delete the video track. Then you mark the audio, right click here on top of the timeline, W, mark the selection. This is where you want uh, to have both the essential graphics and the text window added. So I have my text window here and I have my essential graphics over here. Now I create, uh, can uh, choose create tra transcription. You have a bunch of different uh, languages you can work from. I'm going to choose English and I'm going to transcribe. So now it will automatically uh, transcribe the audio. Might not save time, but I'm lazy. So I, I'll, I'll rather wait um, for the um, text to get automatically transcribed instead of doing it manually. So now I have uh, the text up here. So if I play it, uh, press play. Okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. You'll see that it'll follow it the um, audio. And now I go in and I remove all the pun punctuation. And then I create caption. And here you can create um, you can create a, a preset if you want. I have different presets that I choose from depending on what kind of subtitles I want to make. I don't really know what these do. I have the gap between frames all the way at zero because I want everything to um, be as close together as possible. Uh, but I do think that these two top choices here, they have something to do with the length and how many letters are displayed um, on track or in a, in a in inconsistent line, whatever. You'll see what I mean. So I'm going to choose maybe a Tozy 2. So have all the words separated. Okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. And that might be a little bit too much because not all the all the all the letters are separated. So let's delete this. Let's go back into the transcript and create the caption. Maybe we choose a Tozy 1, which is is a bit longer. Okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. Okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. I want to separate these words. So I can just delete the word I don't need. Okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. That looks pretty decent. The pacing is okay. Maybe we can drag this. Okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. There we go. Pacing is good. And now, this is where we go into the essential graphics tab. Where you can create styles how you want, um, and if we create a new style, let's see, we go 150 to get the word there, and we choose the correct font, and we choose everything to be uh, big and all caps, like fake bald and all caps. At least for me, that that works for me. Um, and then maybe I want the position to be in the middle, maybe. And then I can apply a shadow layer. Okay, brace yourself. Anyway, so when you've done your changes, if you want to see whatever changes you're doing, maybe you can add like a gray solid to see how it looks. Maybe create like a stroke effect or something. Just tiny stroke effect. You can also make a stroke effect like this. Boop, boop, boop. Anyway, okay. So when you, once you made your changes here, you can also choose where you want. There's a lot of stuff you can choose here. Anyway, that's not the point. And now you can um, push the changes to the style. Boom. And now all the, all the text will use the style. If you do changes, you can either push the um, changes to the style or all the captions on the track. 
or you can sync back the style. Anyway, I have I have my style here, which is basically almost the same. And now that I'm I'm happy with this. Okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. Right. I can then individually go in and make changes. Okay, brace yourself. This maybe I want all these tracks to have the same size. Yourself, this video is wild. Maybe this one bigger. And you have a bounding box if you um, create a scale too large, it'll either disappear or go into um, uh, into uh, like two words add on top of other words. Anyway, just work with this, whatever. Okay, brace yourself, this video is wild. There we go. Now we have our subtitles. Now I can close this. We're done working here. So now I choose the cut tool and I just okay, go bra through. Bra and there we go. I now cut all the text up. Okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. There we go. And then I can go into my effect control panel. I can add a transform effect. And we can make um, a couple of um, okay. keyframes. Maybe. Right. And keyframes go. They they will continue working in the background even though you may, may even though the the layer might not be long enough. So uh, maybe I choose 120 and I choose um, 70. Okay, brace. Maybe I want this to be faster. Okay, brace. Okay. Maybe too fast. I don't know. Anyway, and then I can add some motion blur to it. Okay, brace. Okay, brace yourself. Okay, brace. And maybe I add a transform to it. And. Okay, brace yourself. Okay, brace yourself. Okay, brace. Okay, 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 okay. It kind of bounces in, which is good. When you're done doing this, you can maybe I don't know, uh, do the same here, and maybe just invert the uh, the doobly doo. Okay, brace your okay, brace, brace, brace. so it stands out. Anyway, so all, this is where you want to do all the creative changes. You can also add a lot of effects on top of these nested sequences without it damaging the subtitles uh, inside it. Anyway, so what I what I have is when you when you're done with these changes, you can save this preset, right? And we have made me make C1. Remember to choose anchor to in position, in point. You can also change this after effects if you after the fact if you double click on the preset. But make preset, and then you can just drag and drop the preset on top of the nested sequence. Just gonna remove all the attributes, and then I'm gonna choose what parts I want. I have two um, caps transforms here, so I can choose to have one of them on some of the text and the other on the other part of the text. Okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. And that's how you do that. Remember that you can also you can also change the position on how you want the layer to be, uh, where you want the text to be. So I like to have the text on the bottom. That's why I have uh, added a position um, value to my my um, y axis. Okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. But presets are amazing. Use presets. Anyway, also keep in mind that if you want to add uh, chromatic aberration or or whatever, if you want to add um, such effects, you can do that on the nested sequence. So you can get... Okay, know, brace yourself. This video is wild. Which is a very... Um, very uh, uh, extreme example, of course. So you can really customize whatever you want to um, in the on the okay, next. Okay, brace parts. yourself. This video is wild. Just if you want to, you can do that. If you want to remove specific effects, you can choose what effects you want to remove by remove attributes and paste. Okay, it. brace yourself. This video is wild. So that's one 
one way of doing it. You can also choose, if you want to, you can choose to track all of this. And we're going to, um, I'm going to show you how to do this easy, but you need After Effects. Track. And I go inside of this track, I nest, nested this um, uh, video sequence, and I just export the video. And then you open After Effects, you create a new uh, new project, whatever, use if you have a different pro if you have After Effects um, default uh, the project you like to use, you can use that one as well. Anyway, so inside here, you create a solid, you have two different modes, two different uh, options when it comes to tracking. You can either use um, After Effects uh, built-in point tracker, just mark the whatever, and you can use the point tracker, which is good um, for tracking pixels. Or what I like to use is I like to use the inbuilt Mocha plugin for After Effects. You open up Mocha, and we're, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give a deep explanation of how this works, but this uses planar tracking data, which tracks entire surfaces. You want to create a spline using the pen tool up here. And I want to maybe track this the middle of his face. So I'll just, I'll just click and add uh, an area where I want uh, the track to be around this, this position. Yeah, to, to close the loop, you right click and then I unclick all these options because here you can uh, add scale, rotation, skew and perspective. But we only need the position. And now we've added this. and then you track forward, right? And then we save this track by clicking the save save icon up here to the left, and then you close Mocha. That's all you need. And then you need to make the tracking data. So you click the create tracking uh, data option here in the tracking data, blah, blah, blah. Choose a layer. You can also rename layers. Choose OK. OK. And then you choose Transform. And you choose the solid. And you apply the export. And now this has tracking data to it, this, this square. So what you can do now is you can just copy this, Control c Copy the uh, dark uh, gray. Go back into Premiere. Go back into your main comp. And since video track one is um, enabled, it'll go on bottom. Anyway, um, and now we have a tracked surface in uh, Premiere Pro with position tracking. So now we can maybe uh, nest all the captions, and we can simply copy the position data, mark it, Control C. Go into track one, mark position, control V. Okay, brace yourself, this video is wild. And now it'll follow his face. And that's how easy. Okay, brace yourself, this video is wild. And that's how easy make a uh, track in the. Uh, okay, brace yourself, this video in is Premier wild. While using After Effects. Um, as you can see, it, it'll automatically jump a little bit further up because it'll now fo uh, fo it, it would now fo follow the gray uh, solid area, so we can use the anchor point to uh, position it lower. Okay. okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. And that's how you do it. Also, keep in mind if you want to add, let's say, wiggle stuff to have like floaty graphics on your subtitles, you can also do that. Uh, in After Effects, to have a slightly floaty, maybe that's a little bit too less, like this, 0. 0.640 maybe, and then you add like a rotation to it. You can maybe use something like this, and remember to extend this, extend it to maybe like, I don't know, 10 minutes. You can have the wiggle run for for 10 minutes. So what you can do with this, you can also add a, you can nest this or pre-comp this, move all the RGB bits into it, boom, and then you can add a, a Mocha tracker 
to the wiggle, or to the thingy over here. You can track this all the way through with rotation scale and, uh, and uh, transform. Wait for this to uh, complete. Okay, we're going to track one and a half minute, not ten minutes. But you can let this run for ten minutes if you want to. We're going to save the track, exit Mocha, make tracking data from the layer, and then we're going to add a new solid. And we're going to choose transform, go back to the track, export it to the dark gray, and export. So now all the wiggle stuff you did is now on this dark gray solid. You can copy this dark gray solid, and you can import it back into the comp, into uh, the um, Mirror Pro comp, and it should, should now be um, wiggled. Let's um, extend all of this and remove all the keyframes that we don't need. All of these keyframes we can remove. There we go. Now we should have a pretty lightweight um, wiggle keyframe. So what you can do now is you can right click the motion panel. You can save all this as a Transform Wiggle. Choose Anchor to Endpoints. Now we have a Transform Wiggle here. So we can now delete this and we can now nest the sequence again. Captions start and we can apply Transform Wiggle to it. Okay, brace yourself, this video is wild. This is also another type of effect you can make with a wiggle. You can now add this uh, preset on everything. Okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. Okay, brace yourself. This video is wild. That can be a very uh, um, easy way easy way to make uh, camera shake uh, presets. You can make the camera shake presets using the 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 wiggle. Wiggle effects in um, After Effects, and then you use Mocha, you pre-comp it, use Mocha to track it, um, apply the track to a gray solid, and copy the gray solid into Premiere. And that's how you do it. Thank you.